beautiful Pisces, thank you so much for being here today. Today we're going to do your horoscope for October 2024. So let's see what we have for Pisces. My name's Marie Rose from Tarot Readings Live and Psychics Live. For those of you that don't know me, thank you to all our beautiful subscribers. If you feel that you like the video and you'd like to contribute, please like, subscribe and share. That helps us immensely. So thank you in advance. Pisces, what is it that we have for you? What energy do we have from Archangel Michael? Pisces, we're going into an eclipse again. We've just come out of an eclipse in Pisces. So you may have felt the energy of being all confused, mixed up, dealing with things from the past, um, not having much clearance on where to go, what to do. And we've got another one in Libra on the 2nd of October. So we're still going through that big um, evolving of feelings. Yeah, let's see what energy is. This is a blessing in disguise. Be patient and have faith that your angels have this situation under control. What will come is far better than you dared to dream. So there's something super special coming your way in October, Pisces. Don't give up on that dream. What they're saying here is it's going to be better than what you imagine. What else do we have? Welcome abundance into your life. What did I say? Yeah. Prosperity is on its way to you. Have faith that source will heal your financial challenges. So for those of you that were, are and were going through financial difficulties, get ready because there's a huge amount of financial benefits coming your way whether that be a new job a new opportunity you're selling something or something is being offered to you a, pro a, pro a proposal um, more money at work it's something here is going to have a huge impact for you in October and also let it go this situation no longer serves you allow me to sever your energetic connections to the past so you can embrace the future. There's something that you're hanging on to from your past which needs to be gone. And when I say that so abruptly, that's the way they're putting it. It's like Pisces, now is time to let go and unchain yourself from things that once were important to you but today are not people that once made a huge impact in your life but today they don't as a relationship that you're hanging on to that's no longer what you want a, um, a place where you live a, a dream that you once had a goal that you once had there's something here about letting go things from the past that only brought pain and sorrow into your life. Let that go. Understanding it, learning from it, but moving forward. Okay, what else do we have for Pisces here, please? For October. Pisces for October. Let's see what else we have for Pisces for October. Thank you. Energy for Pisces. Thank you so much. Five of Cups. Seven of Wands. The Queen of Pentacles. And the High Priestess. And on the bottom, we have the Page of Swords. So... What we're actually got here, Pisces, is the following. Someone here is feeling either not loved, abandoned, or not getting back what you give out. All the love and care and nurturing that you show others, you're feeling that you're not getting that back. So you now put yourself in this big bubble to protect yourself from getting hurt. You're now taking that, you know, you've got the beautifulest heart, Pisces, but when you're feeling unstable or vulnerable, you then go into protection. You protect yourself from outside forces, and that may be that you move away from certain people, certain experiences, you shut it off within you, or you shut it off in your mind for you to be able to protect your current situation. 
So someone here has got something that they're getting over, a time and a place of hurt, of pain. And you've learned to deal with that by isolating yourself away from outside forces. You're going to come into some money, and I did say that in October, and that is going to be a new opportunity that comes your way. You knew this was coming. It's like you sensed it. You sensed a new opportunity. You sensed a new door was going to open for you, a new proposal, a new balance that was coming through to allow you to gain what you wanted. And you had insight into this. It's like you've dreamt of this before or you've seen this before. It's like deja vu, like you pictured it and now it's coming through. You manifested what you wanted in your life and now it's going to take place. A new contract, a new proposal, a new opportunity, a new job that is offered to you and you've manifested this for yourself. You've asked for this. And on the bottom, we have the Page of Swords and the King of Pentacles. You had an idea, and that idea is what is, has brought on this spark into your life. You may have studied something, or you studied yourself, and doing that made you aware that you are more capable than what you gave yourself credit for. It's like these lights are going to now all line up. You're going to understand things that you didn't understand before. You're going to see things in a different perspective to what you saw it before. Looking at the glass half full rather than the glass half empty. And you're going to make rational decisions. Okay, let's go and, oops, sorry, sorry. Let's go and see what we have with the other tarot, see what other messages come through. You know, you know that there didn't happen by mistake. That bang, it's like something is going to come when you least expect it. It's like something that is something that you've manifested or you've wished for and it comes out of the blue. So in October you may find yourself having or being given an opportunity that you never saw coming or you thought would never happen. Let's see what else we have. What else do we have for Pisces? Thank you. The Three of Michael. Look at that card again. Release the past. You will grow from this situation. Time heals all wounds. Let go of something or someone that no longer makes sense in your life. Letting go is the hardest thing. But time does heal all wounds. You'll see that you are going to be better for letting it go. Because for some reason it's either dragging you down, blocking you from moving forward, or there's something here that's not making you feel good, or, or making you overthink things. What else do we have, Pisces? The moon. The opportunity to improve your plans. Listen to your intuition for Accurate guidance, Pisces. Listen to your intuition. If it feels right, that's because it, it is. If something doesn't feel right or there's a huge question mark about something or someone, then know that that's there for a reason. Face your fears and grow stronger. Sometimes we need to do things that are, that are scary, that we have a huge hesitance to, to take that step. But in reality, that fear is going to release you. It's going to release you from worry. It's going to release you from um, being stuck in the past and not being able to move forward with your plans. It's like something here is holding you back and you're not able to move forward for some reason.
cards do you have for Pisces? Knight of Gabriel. Time to take action. Great passion for a course. Instinctively knowing just what to do. Remember we talked about the intuition here. The intuition is going to tell you what direction to take. It's going to tell you what's right and what's wrong in your life. It's going to tell you how people are coming across. You'll see things that you didn't see before. For some of you, you may have been vulnerable in certain situations. And who hasn't been in vulnerable situations? Everyone. And, and when it takes us to see the truth for what it is, it, it, it's a shock at the time, but it also is very eye-opening. So we then understand that was never right for me. I see that now. That person was only there for their benefit, not mine. That, that place didn't make sense anymore. And on the bottom we've got the Ace of Ariel. It's your lucky day. New resources of money, time or support. A change in job or promotion. We spoke about that here, Pisces. It's no mistake that the money card is there. It's no mistake that things are going to start happening now. All right, one last message for Pisces, please. October. You know, Pisces, October overall is going to be a month of closing doors, but bringing in new opportunities, seeing new possibilities into how much you can grow and how much you can be happy. No place like home or no peace like home. Here, it's someone who's missing home. You may have a nostalgic feeling of being away from home if you are working in another place, another city, another state. If you're away from home right now, this could be um, you not finding that peace and the stability that your home gave you. There's going to be changes here. For some of you, you may go back home to visit or to see people, but I don't feel that you'll be moving back home, but you're, you're going to find your peace just like you were at home. I feel your hard times are over, Pisces. You're about to find yourself and find your prosperity and your happiness. Treasure Island, absolutely. Your purpose and your reason. There is no mistake that somebody here is about to land on their treasure island. On a, you've put so much energy and determination into something and now you're going to reap the rewards from that. And on the bottom, we've got building blocks. You're just at the beginning of building your foundation. For some of you here, you've been working towards something and now you can see more than ever that you're starting to build your nest egg and, and you know where you're going to go with this. You know what you want for your life. You know that you want the stability and the comfort and the happiness that this is going to bring you. And not that money brings you happiness, no, but it makes things a lot easier for you. And I feel that that's what you're focused on. It's like I'm focused on making the best um, possible future for me. The changes are going to take you to your prosperity. Look at that. Nine and nine. Look up Angel 99 and look up Angel 9. There's going to be a message for you there. Okay, Pisces, I hope that makes sense. Lots of love and light your way. Thank you and have a great October. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.